everybody. I'm going to read a read aloud story by another one of my favorite authors who you probably know, Eric Carl. And this story is about one of my very favorite foods and maybe yours too, pancakes. Pancakes, pancakes. You might even learn a little something about how to make pancakes while you're home. Pancakes, pancakes. Kikiriki, crowed the rooster. Jack woke up, looked out the window, and thought, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. Jack's mother was already up and busy. Mother, said Jack, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. I'm busy, and you will have to help me, said his mom. How can I help, said Jack. We'll need some flour, she replied. Take the sickle and cut as much wheat as the donkey can carry. Then take it to the mill. The miller will grind it into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put it on the donkey's back and took it to the miller. Can you grind this wheat for me? He asked. I need it for a big pancake. First, we must separate the grain from the chaff. He gave Jack a flail and spread the wheat on the ground. The miller took another flail and began to beat the wheat with it. Jack helped with the threshing, and soon there was a big pile of straw and chaff and a small pile of grain. The miller poured the grain on a large flat stone. On top of it was a round millstone connected to the water wheel on the outside. The water wheel turned round and round, turning the millstone round and round too, to grind the grain into flour. And at last, the miller handed Jack a bag of flour. Here's the flour, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need an egg. Jack went to the back black hen and fed her some grain that he had slipped into his pocket while he'd been threshing. Cluck, cluck, said the black hen, and went inside the hen house. Then she said, cluck, cluck, and once more laid an egg. Here's an egg, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need some milk. Jack went to the spotted cow and began to milk her. Moo, moo, said the spotted cow as the milk squirted into the pail. Here's the milk, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need some butter. Jack got the butter churn and held it between his knees. His mother scooped the cream from the top of the milk and put it into the butter churn. Jack pushed the churn handle up and down, up and down. Finally, the cream turned into butter. Here's the butter, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need to build a fire. Jack went into the woodshed and brought some firewood. Here's the firewood, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, wouldn't you like to have something sweet on your pancake? So Jack went down to the cool cellar and pulled out a jar of strawberry jam from one of the shelves. Here's the strawberry jam, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. In the kitchen, Jack's mother had filled the table with the flour, the egg, the milk, the butter. There was also a mixing bowl, a cup, a wooden spoon, a ladle, a frying pan, a plate, a knife, a fork, a spoon, and a jar of strawberry jam. There's all the ingredients. His mother said, pour a cup full of the flour into the bowl, break an egg into the flour and stir. Pour a cup full of milk over the flour and egg and stir again until the batter is smooth without lumps. Jack's mother heated the frying pan over the fire and added a piece of butter. The butter melted fast and added a piece, 
The butter melted fast. Then she said to Jack, now pour a ladle full of batter into the hot pan. After a minute or two, she looked at the underside of the pancake. It was golden brown. Ready, shouted Jack. Flip, said her, his mother. Up and over went the pancake, high into the air, and landed right in the pan. In another minute or two, the pancake was crisp on the underside as well. Then she slipped the pancake from the frying pan onto the plate and spread some strawberry jam on it. And now, Jack, said his mother. But Jack said, oh, mama, I know what to do now. That's the end. Did you pay attention to the pictures in Eric Carle's book, how he used collage to put all the pictures together? Pretty neat way to make the illustrations. And now you're probably hungry for pancakes and you might know a little bit about how to make them.